My name is Leslie Linball, though in the online world I'm known as 1% Yellow. This video was created for Dr. Alec Koros's ECI831 class and reflects my attempt to become a social artist. Through this project, I hope to connect individuals from my undergraduate university, the Augustana campus of the University of Alberta, with individuals from the University of Mary Washington, who are exploring the possibilities for liberal arts education online. The point of contact between these two schools is their mutual membership in the Council of Public Liberal Arts Colleges, or COPELAC. When individuals at the University of Mary Washington began to develop the online learning initiative, they first came together to discuss the values of a liberal arts education. From that conversation, they developed five keywords to form a value-based examination of their developing online offerings. The first word we will examine is community. For me, personally, I think community is the backbone of the other four. And nothing else Nothing else works unless the community element is in, in there. The only way you can learn is if you become a member of a cognitive community. The, the notion of community within this particular um, project has to do with um, building intellectual communities. Learning, I believe, is a social um, activity. And if you want to have social connections that are more than trivial, you need to build community. I think that community, that intellectual community, is physical, empirical, if I can put it that way. So it's the people in your class, it's the people that you discuss things with, your professor. But it's bigger than that, too, because I also include in that, and I'm pretty explicit about this with my students, is your community also includes the stuff that you're reading, the authors that, you've, that you're reading, and it includes a historical conversation that, that went before that. Uh, books are, are a great resource. They allow us to you know, learn from Thomas More and learn from, I don't know, Karl Marx or whoever else. Uh, but... Um, uh, what's really important um, in the liberal arts process is how that's tra transmitted um, from one, one person to, to the next. So it's not just an object to be studied, but something to be experienced. And that's in the classroom, out of the classroom, uh, both in formalized uh, stuff where it's a deliberate part of what we're doing, also sort of the accidental kinds of community that happen around, you know, First East or whatever. I mean, they're not like accidental, but they're more informal in nature. In my, in my experience, um, and a liberal arts campus, it, there is a sense of community that is like any other kind of community, a group of people that you can turn to that will support you and encourage you and challenge you and make you think critically and and help you to grow in that sort of way. Um, and I think in general, the, the way it seems to work best is um, by having uh, direct contact between um, you know, professors and, uh, and students. You can pull things off with students when they know where you're coming from and they trust what you're doing because of knowing more than just than the fact that they're in your course. It's the only way we come to knowledge is a knowledge is a communal construction. For me, community is perhaps one of the most political ones in terms of saying we're not just educating you to be good for yourself so that you can get a career. We're teaching you how to be a member of society, how to be part of the global community, you know, that includes plants and animals too, <laughs> um, and rivers and streams and, you know, trees. My emphasis in community is diversity, individuality. I, I find it really interesting that, that the first thing that you, you said is the individual within the community. Because if we are very rigid with the rules of the community, we are inhibiting creativity, we are killing lots of creativity. The community should allow me to, to express my individuality as I live. And I think it's funny because on the one hand, I, I think it's really hard to do that online. But on the other hand, I think it's really easy because it's happening all the time. And, and lots of people, students and instructors, are themselves members of, of really... Um, exciting, vibrant online communities. Maybe what are, the, what are the aspects of those other kinds of communities that we engage in online that are really fun and really compelling and draw us in and make us feel like a valued member? And how can we incorporate that into the course experience? The concept of community is clearly a valuable aspect of the liberal arts experience. And as we move through the other values, perhaps we'll find an answer to Martha's question. 
What is it about the liberal arts experience that makes us feel as though we're important members of a cognitive community? Do the other values contribute to this feeling of belonging? And if so, how do we strengthen those ties?